In this video, we will discuss the problem number of positive integral solutions. The problem says that uh, we are given an equation in the form of x1 plus x2 up till xn is equal to k. So, let us write this equation. It says that we have been given x1 plus x2 plus x3 up till xn is equal to k. So, we have to do what? We have to find the number of positive integral solutions. So, for this given equation, we have to find the number of positive integral solution. So, in mathematics, we know that the number of positive integral solutions for such kind of equations is nothing but if let's, let's suppose that n is the number of uh, expressions that we have and k is the value here. So, the number of uh, positive integral solutions is nothing but k minus 1 c n minus 1. So, that is nothing but the uh, that is nothing but the combination where c is nothing but the combination. So, we can say that what we have to use is we have to use basically uh, we can say ncr where where c is uh, nothing but c is used in ncr. So, this is what we have to do here. So, basically we have to calculate the ncr kind of thing for this that is where in place of n we will keep k minus 1 and in place of c we will keep n minus 1 ok. So, that is what we have to do here. So, how can we do it? So, how can we count the number of uh, n values here? So, all this expression will be given in terms of string. So, we can see that if we count uh, the number of plus signs here, if we count the number of plus signs, ok. So, let us say that x1 plus x2 plus x3 has been given is equal to k. So, we can observe here easily that this plus sign and this plus sign, there are two plus signs. So, n value, n value is actually 3 here, ok. But what we want is, we want n minus 1. So, n minus 1 is nothing but 2. So, if we count the num number of plus signs, so we will get n is equal to 2, which is nothing but n minus 1 that we wanted. And k value we will get how? We will, like since this is a string, so we can find the position of equal to in the string. And uh, like uh, we can we can find like, that whenever there is an equal to, so after that index we will find k. So, once we find this k in terms of a string, so we will convert it into an integer using a STOI function. And after we have done with this, so we can say that uh, k, we can subtract k, okay, we can do k minus minus and n is already equal to 2 because we are just counting the plus sign. So, n is already decreased by 1. So, we can directly calculate the value that is, we can directly get the value, actual value that will be k minus 1, c n minus 1 because k and n are already, already adjusted because this n is nothing but n minus 1 because I am calculating 1 less and k minus 1. So, basically I have to calculate this combination here, right, that that will be very easy because NCR is what? NCR is nothing but N factorial divided by R factorial and minus R factorial, right? So, we have to calculate it. Let us try and write the code for this problem. So, what we will be first of all doing is, I will first of all make a factorial function here. So, let us make it. So, long factorial and in this factorial function, uh, let us say I pass N. So, in this function what we will do is, we will say that the initially the factorial will be equal to 1 ok and after that we will iterate for uh, from int i is equal to 1 and i is lesser equal to n then i plus plus and we will keep on multiplying so we will say f into is equal to i so basically uh, every integer gets multiplied so like it's uh, n factorial is what 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 up till n so it will, it will keep on multiplying and then we will calculate uh, then we will return the factorial that we have calculated now, after this part is done, so what we need to do here is, we need to say that the number of uh, n is equal to 0, where n will already be minus 1 because we are just calculating the plus signs. And we also need to find the index, right? We also need to find the index of equal to. So, we will uh, initially mark it as 0, okay? And after this, what we will do is, we will iterate through the string. So, we will say int i starts from 0 and then i is lesser than n. Right, uh, like i is lesser than the size of the string, so i is lesser than s dot size, then i plus plus. After this part is done, so like after we have started to iterate, so if uh, the current uh, ith character is equal equal to uh, a plus sign, if it's equal to a plus sign, so <coughs> in that case, what we will do, we will count it in n plus plus. Otherwise, suppose that if the ith character is equal equal to a equal to if it's an if it's the current character is an equal to then we will say that we need to store its index so in the index we will store the ith index right that is what we will do 
and after this part is done so uh, what we need to do is we need to find the value of k so the value of k will be nothing but like if if this is a string let's suppose let's suppose we have been given x1 plus x2 plus x3 uh, plus x3 is equal to k so we can see that after this equal to we can see that after this equal to part we will have the k so we know the index of this uh, we know the index so we can say that if we take the substring from index plus 1 till the end so we will get this value k directly okay so basically what we can do here is we can say that <coughs> the string temp is equal to nothing but s dot sub str of uh, index plus 1 so i will take it from the index plus 1 and once i have taken it so i'll say i'll say that now i need to convert it into integer because this is a string so i'll use the stoi function and after this i'll i'll simply pass the temp right that that will contain the value of k and once i've got it so i need to do k minus minus as i told you like uh, like the formula is what the formula is nothing but k minus 1 c n minus 1 so n like why have i not done n minus 1 because uh, i am just counting the plus sign right if, if i am counting this sign this sign so n value here the number n is 3 but actually these plus signs will help me to make n is equal to 2 and i am uh, i have also found k so i am doing what i am doing k minus 1 okay k minus minus i am doing so that i can get k minus 1 okay and after this part i will have the i need the numerator and the denominator so i'll say that uh, i have the i will require the numerator and the denominator so initially i'll initialize the numerator to 1 and then then what i will say is i'll calculate let's say let's say there is an expression right ncr here so how do we calculate it it's nothing but n factorial upon r factorial right and uh, like it's what uh, n n fact uh, like ncr is what n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial right so this is what n minus r factorial so basically we will calculate this expression together okay and we, we will divide it by the factorial of r okay so this is what we would do so now what i will do is i'll say that now i needs to start from uh, like let's say i start from 1 okay i is lesser than equal to n and then i plus plus and after this what we can say here is basically we'll calculate the numerator part as i told you we'll calculate that expression in the numerator so if i'll say uh, that numerator uh, asterisk is equal to numerator multiplied is equal to k so i'll multiply k into the numerator and i'll decrease the value of k this is done to calculate the numerator of the combination that we are calculating and now i'll calculate the denominator so now the denominator part will be nothing but long uh, denominator is equal to a uh, factorial of factorial of uh, like it is nothing but factorial of r like it is nothing but factorial of n here okay so i'll calculate it and then as the answer i can simply say that i need to return what i uh, in the end i can say that as the answer i need to return nothing but numerator uh, denominator divided by the denominator part okay that is what i need to return let us see if it can get compiled or we have any compilation issues in this part okay so we are getting not we are not getting the expected output here we might have done some mistake so i am doing yeah i need to do equal to n right equal to n uh, i need to run from 1 till n so maybe this was the error seems to work on the samples let us try and submit it as well so you can see our problem got accepted so this is how we solve this particular problem and the time complexity for solving this problem was uh, like uh, if talking about the time complexity time complexity was nothing but order of length of the string okay because that is maximum that we iterated and since we are not using any extra space so the space complexity is order of one thank you